Hey, Jana Haynes with Sacramento County here live to update us all about how our emergency operation systems in the county are tackling all of these issues back to back to back issues with these storms and uh, they're delivering a lot of problems. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Definitely. Now, one of these blasts from Mother Nature would have been bad enough individually, but these have been one right after the other with very little recovery time in between. What's being done to help crews kind of keep up? So we were able to call in a lot of mutual aid resources, which has been a huge help to clear down trees, get power lines back up, um, help man roads, look at levees and the condition of our roads with these back-to-back -back storms, um, and even down to the communications efforts. It's been a really great partnership between a lot of different agencies, not only here locally, but also from other jurisdictions. Sounds good. Now, leaning into another round of wind and rain, perhaps later tonight, what is the biggest concern in the county right now? Is it the Wilton area and the mandatory evacuations there? So Wilton area is certainly one of the concerns. Obviously, we saw what happened last weekend when the water came down, um, not only through Wilton, but into the Point Pleasant area over 99. We're expecting something similar to that to happen again and wanted to get in front of it with the evacuation order while the roads are still clear. But then we have the, the dual competing um, emergency of how our unhoused are getting out of harm's way. So we're working on both of those things simultaneously. Definitely, and I know that today just released the identities of two, we now know, homeless people who were killed by falling trees over the weekend. One of them I just did mention. Um, what are the available resources in the county for those folks who need to get in somewhere and have it really be fortified, not just a tent or a tarp over them because that's going to do nothing when the trees or branches or something like that comes down? That's right. So both the city and the county have respite locations open. We actually have people out walking along the parkways, asking people to come in out of danger, arranging transport for them. We opened a new location just late last night at the Ethel Hart Senior Center at 27th and I Street. We still have the Howe Park location open as well as our North A shelter. The city has two locations open and we're ready to surge another location if we need to. Anybody that needs those resources can call 211 to actually arrange transport from where they're at to one of our shelter locations. And when you say you're ready to surge another location, is that like we're going to make that call by 5 o'clock today so we're ready for the evening or when do you suspect that'll be a go or no go? So it really depends on capacity. So our HAL location that's been open now for several days has not hit capacity on any given night. Um, there's been transportation from a couple different locations. So it's really based on need. We wanna make sure that we're using our resources in the best way possible. And we don't wanna open locations that are not gonna be used. So we're waiting to see what the need is. Okay. Now around the region, several school districts have canceled classes today, completely are in part, Saxony Unified among them. Did administrators consult with anybody in county operations and that kind of decision making process? Do you give them updates? Absolutely. We've been in constant communication with our school system. We made some very strong recommendations for a couple particular schools that are in the flood evacuation zone. But the rest of the schools that decided to close today was simply because not only was the weather really nasty this morning, but there's a lot of hazards out on the roads between flooding, trees, and down power lines. And I think just for the safety of everyone involved, they made those decisions on their own based on the intelligence from here. Alrighty, and what is your message to everyone listening at this stage of a very stormy January? Adhere to all the orders that are coming out of this office, not only the evacuation orders and the flood watches, but the road closure signs. Um, partner with us in reporting all flooded roads and down trees by calling 311. And if you are in need of assistance, whether to evacuate out of your house or an unhoused person, call 211 so that we can help you with those resources. We know that you are doing yeoman's work there and that this is just sort of an unprecedented situation with back to back to back to back crises. So we appreciate you taking a few minutes and coming to speak with us about what is going on. It's important. I think it gives people comfort to know that their county is uh, armed and ready to handle it all. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you too. All right.